we're on top of the world looking down on creation, and the only explanation we can find is that we're on an adventure. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. Today on At Your Leisure, we're discovering some lesser-known trails out of Nephi, Utah, that will give you some real perspective. From there, Zach Cipriano will be exploring Dead Horse Point State Park and finding out why it rivals most national parks in both beauty and recreation. Last but not least, Reese Stein shows off the new Tibble Fork. Own the outdoors with At Your Leisure. In about 30 feet, we're going to be airborne, Rhea. <laughs> we are literally at the top of the mountain. We are. I hope the brakes are working on this thing. Ah, we ah, are ah, at ah, a ah, pinnacle ah, of beauty. We really are at the pinnacle, and I, I'm sure these brakes are working fine because this is a fine machine. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And today we are on the Log Canyon Trail. Now, this is just to the east of Nephi in Juab County. And I've got to tell you, I honestly think that this is yeah. the prettiest trail I've been on this year. This is my favorite ride of the year so far. It is so cool and beautiful, and the butterflies are amazing. They're just out running around, kissing, doing whatever. I, I've never seen so many butterflies. To the Wasatch Front, Juab County is maybe not close enough they would think of it as it's the backyard ride. You know, that would be Five Mile Pass or American Fork Canyon or something like that. But it's, it's not far enough away for somebody to say, oh, this is my vacation destination, like, like going to Coral Pink or something like that. Yeah. And so I think people just don't put it in their mind that there's so much opportunity. And it's always so beautiful and private up here. We hardly ever, whenever we come up here, we hardly see anybody up here. True, so from the springs to the lakes, to the deer, to all the other stuff you see, this place is packed. Let's find out more about the trail. You know, the trail that we just came up is called the Log Canyon Trail to all the locals. Um, I'm sure it has a proper name, but what that is, I don't know. It's really easy to get to from the stoplight in Nephi or the center Nephi exit. You simply head east about 12 miles. You'll come to a sign on the right-hand side of the road that says Log Canyon. Just pull off the main road. There's a, a very spacious parking area there you can stop leave your trucks, your trailers, your ATVs, unload there, and just jump on that main trail and it will take you right up the canyon. You can see anything from limestone cliffs to conglomerate cliffs. You can travel all the way to Gunnison. From Gunnison, you can jump on the Paiute Trail. If you don't wanna go that far, you can drop off the east side down Wales Canyon, go to Wales, Fountain Green, Moroni. You know, one of the things that make this trail unique is that you never know what you're going to get on any given day, especially if you come up early in the year. You may run into the occasional snowbank, <laughs> snow slide, mud slide, and you kind of have to improvise and you may have to take a different route and go a different uh, direction than you had anticipated going. But that's the beauty of it is that you get to go try something new and it's not always what you expected it to be. I think each of us has a responsibility to be good stewards of the land. I think we owe it to the people that are coming up behind us to take good care of the trails, to stay on the trail, to avoid riparian areas, areas where there are watershed areas. Stay out of that, don't create ruts. And if we do that and keep these trails pristine for the people behind us, they'll always be here. Here's stop number one. This is quite the outlook. So let's take an inventory of what you can see from this point on our way up Log Canyon. Yeah. Okay. Behind us. Okay, right, right behind us. Little Sahara sand dunes. If you tilt that way, you can actually see Delta through the mountains over that direction. Juab Reservoir right there. Okay, now turn around to your back and look over this way from this exact standpoint. You are looking at Mountain Green. Beyond that is Fairview. You can see the entire Skyline Drive. You can see, looking this way, the back of Timpanogos, and off in the distance, right there, you can see the very tip of the Uendas, all from one spot. Yeah. What else have we seen today? I don't know, but if Brigham Young landed here, he would say, this is the place. 
because it, it's amazing. It's it like would, being on top of the world. It would have been. Are yeah. you going to start carpenter singing? Uh, I feel it coming on. <laughs> and I'm on top of the world looking down on creation and the only explanation And with I that, I think it's time for us to go to this week's travel adventure. the love that I found ever <laughs> since you've adventure. been around. <laughs> hey guys, Zach Cipriano here with your travel adventure today. You know, I love Moab as much as the next guy. I mean, it, it's an amazing place. Sometimes it's just a little bit too crowded. So it's incredible to think that just 30 minutes outside of Moab, you can find a little bit of space, a little bit of quiet, and views like this. Welcome to Dead Horse Point State Park. This park is known for its incredible views of the Colorado River Bend as it meanders about 2,000 feet below the Dead Horse Point Overlook. So it's known for its views, but we have a lot of other stuff going on too. We have 17 miles of single track mountain biking trails. And they're great for families, but great for experts too that want a little bit of an easy scenic ride. We also have a campground and a new campground coming by the end of the summer this year. Uh, we have eight miles of hiking trails, and we also have some incredible stargazing because we're an international dark sky park. So you're able to see the Milky Way on clear nights, and it's, it's gorgeous. Dead Horse Point is an amazing landscape, one that does not get enough acclaim in the area. It's one of the most photographed state parks. And I think a lot of people don't realize what's there. They're headed to Canyonlands or on a rush to get from Canyonlands to Arches and they pass right past the entrance road to get to Dead Horse Point. And if they only knew what was down the end of that road. Dead Horse Point State Park is, as has been said, chock full of dynamic and breathtaking views, but it's also home to quite a bit of Western history. Its name, for example, comes from the legend of cowboys rustling up wild mustangs across the 30-yard neck of land, being left 2,000 feet above the Colorado River and unable to get to the water. The horses, I'll give you a chance to cover up the ears of the little ones, a died. But don't worry, there's nothing even remotely reminiscent of that in the park today. Now, it's just a beautiful place to camp, explore, and learn. We have a great visitor center. Um, it has a great view from the deck. We can sit out and just soak up the view of the LaSalle Mountains outside Moab. We have a coffee shop, that a private concessionaire that offers smoothies and sandwiches and coffee. We also have a great gift shop, museum, and an art gallery that showcases local artists. I'll admit it was a bit toasty the day I decided to hit the old dusty trail and explore this state park. But with proper preparations, even a hot day can be a positively memorable one. Wear sunscreen, drink water, and hike with a buddy. And remember, if you get too hot, you can always hike or bike back to your campsite. So for camping, we have a small campground, soon to be twice as big. They have RV sites, uh, tent sites, flush toilets, no showers. And then we also have yurts. Right now we have three yurts that you can stay in overnight. And we will also have another six coming online by the fall. So nine yurts altogether. And being so close to Moab, sleeping accommodations can also be found readily available in town. In town, we've got a lot of uh, hotels. We've got really anything to fulfill whatever your lodging needs are, whether you're alone, whether you're a couple, family, if you want to stay in town, out, out of town. Yeah, I think most of the people in the Moab area are coming because of Arches National Park, because of the whole valley and its recreational opportunities too. So we're kind of a side trip, uh, but we're becoming really well known too. We have about 400,000 visitors a year, and it's a great, completely different experience from your Arches experience. I really love this place because it's so beautiful. It's just incredibly gorgeous and every day the view looks different. People ask us all the time, aren't you sick of the view yet? And I always say, no, I mean, it looks different with clouds, looks different in the storm. It's just such a beautiful place to work in. And in the summer, it's about 10 degrees cooler than Moab, so we can't complain about that either. Now I'm guilty of visiting a new city and hitting up just the most popular attractions. But Dead Horse Point showed me that if I just put in a little bit more effort and research into my trip planning, then I can find entirely new but still resplendent areas to discover. Now Dead Horse Point State Park is really easy to get to. You just start heading north out of Moab and pretty soon you start seeing all these little brown signs telling you exactly where to go. Simple as that. 
Well, I'm Zach Cipriano. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to have a product review for you. Don't go anywhere. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night. In the basin with the youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. Dominate every trail. Conquer any task. You need a machine that does it all. Introducing Polaris General. The General is the most powerful rec utility side by side ever made. The industry's deepest cargo box lets you haul and dump up to 600 pounds, and the revolutionary cockpit totally refines comfort and protection. Polaris General, ultimate versatility to win every battle. In a place that is beyond words, there is nothing to be said, except take your time in Bryce Canyon country. Run faster, pull harder, and leave everyone else behind with an impressive 154 horsepower combined with 113 foot-pounds of tire spinning torque. The Maverick X3 absolutely rockets off the line, going from zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds. All thanks to a turbocharged, intercooled Rotax ACE engine. So get ready to wait for everyone else to catch up. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Darren Kinder, and today we're up at Pineview Reservoir, and I finally don't have helmet hair. So we've got a brand new watercraft. We're going to go out and product review today, and it's the new Sea Dew Spark. And these are really cool machines because they're very inexpensive. These things start off at $52.99 for a basic two-seater, or you can get a three-seater like this for $64.99, and they pack a lot of technology in, in a really cool little package. Now, one of the first things that you'll notice on this machine versus a lot of the other watercraft is that it's actually made of plastic. So if you happen to run into something with it, you can just replace this piece of plastic, and it's far cheaper and quicker to repair these than the old model. Now, this machine is the three-seater, so which is nice around here if you want to tow, walk, tow tubes or different things like that. This machine is, is legal to do that with. Now, this has a little storage area up here in the front, but you can also get it with what's called a convenience package, which adds a tray up here that closes. Now, all of these CDUs come with their intelligent throttle control, which is basically a fly-by wire control, so no more cables in it to wear out or rust out. This is all done electronically. Now, the machine can also get a braking system, their IBR system, which actually can put it in reverse. It can hold it in neutral, um, and it can actually, when it throws it in reverse and you give it the gas, it'll actually slow you down. So that's a really good system. That's a little bit more for that, but sometimes that might be worth it. Now, it does have a small storage compartment over here for to put in your safety equipment, and it also has storage under the seat for your fire extinguisher. The machine also comes with sponsons on it on either side that are adjustable, and you can really dial in the machine to get it to turn like it's just like it's on rails. Now, it has a nice digital instrument gauge on it, and it also has a little safety feature in there that when you press and hold this red button and you don't tell your kids about it, <laughs> you can change it from a 60 horsepower machine to a 90 horsepower machine. And so that's a really nice feature if you want to let the kids go out and play at 60, and then uh, when you get on it yourself, you can take it up to the 90. It also has a little storage tray right here, so you can put your cell phone or your any kind of little gadgets in there that you want to take with you, maybe a drink or something. You get this big boarding area back here, so when you're trying to get on and off the machine or you got riders coming with you, there's a big handle here to grab onto, big platform to stand on, and you can also get a step for it. So if you'd like to check out these machines, get up to AD Triple S up in uh, West Haven, which is just outside of Ogden there, and check out these machines. They have all of them from the base units up to the highest end ones. And this is a perfect time of year to get out there and, and enjoy these things on the lake. 
Well, I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Chad Booth, host of the TV show At Your Leisure. Those of you who watch our show know that we cover recreation in the West, and often we talk about land access issues. But did you know that land access is an important issue in the East too? BRC stands ready to help you protect that vital access to the sport that you love. So remember, no matter where you live in the USA, join, participate, and donate to the Blue Ribbon Coalition. Summertime, and now it's even better because summer is free at Ray City RV. That's right, purchase a trailer or motorhome from Ray City, pay nothing till October. Over $10,000 off, time to buy is now. Summer's free at Ray City RV. It's out there. Something is definitely out there. Whatever it is, it's big. I won't play, I swear, we got so close I could smell it. But then, poof, it was gone. Right. It exists, the new Honda Pioneer 1000 with the best-in-class engine and six-speed fully automatic dual-clutch transmission. Pioneer 1000 from Honda. Welcome back to At Your Leisure and uh, snow cones, anyone? Ooh, what flavor is that? Uh, it's called dirt and grime. And I, think that, <laughs> I think there's a little hint of pine in it. <laughs> in pine. Okay, this should tell you something. We were on our way to our next destination. It's obvious that we ran into a uh, snowbank that's hindering us from getting to our next destination. And think about it, middle of July and you still are having trouble getting here. But I would yeah. predict as soft as the snow is and the fact that the road is almost halfway open, that go ahead and plan your trip because by the time you get here, it will be gone. But that leads us with another dilemma. What do we do in the meantime to find out about other ATV opportunities? Well, we know just the guy to tell us about it. Well, I lived in California. We had to drive an hour and a half, two hours before we can even unload our four wheelers. And then we were limited to a 500 square acre parcel of land to ride in. And I moved up here to Utah 10 years ago and it's unbelievable. It's the whole world you can ride in. You can go east and go up into the mountains, uh, Mount Nebo, we have trails up there, we got Mona Pole Road, we got the Pinery. It's a little steep canyon, not a whole lot of people know about it, but it takes you up into this steep little trail and it's just beautiful. And when you get up out of the trail, you get up underneath the red cliffs and it's just extremely scenic. We have all kinds of mountain trails out east. You can go out west and experience sand dunes and flat trails out west. They're missing the hospitality of a really lot of good people. I, moving up here from California, it's everybody on the street corner. They set their rake down and wave at you when you go by and you've never even met them. It's close to home and it's the most perfect place for raising children. It's just incredible. Well, you never know what you're going to find when you're out on an adventure, but if you don't quite make one goal, there's always something else. And that is the thing that George and Jeff have pointed out to us today. Yeah. So, I found a ladybug. It's so cute. There you go. Thank you, and here's my stick for you. I can be Rafiki. <laughs> Simba. This is beautiful up here. Seriously, it doesn't matter where you turn. It is absolutely beautiful. That's true. So my Rafiki stick is telling me right now it's time to go to our trailhead adventure brought to you each week by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Reese Stein has discovered the new and improved Tibble Fork. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at the new and improved Tibble Fork Reservoir, always a popular recreation area. Now it's bigger and better than ever. Uh, it's a fantastic new recreation area. It's a place that people can come up and go fishing and swimming and boating 
and really enjoy this area. Hunt Willoughby, chairman of the North Utah County Water Conservancy District, cuts the ribbon, reopening the expanded Tibble Fork Reservoir in North American Fort Canyon. Closed the past year, so the 50-year-old dam that didn't meet current safety standards could be rebuilt and raised 15 feet. That more than doubles the size of the lake from 10 to 21 acres. Plenty of room for more rainbow trout. So today what we've done is we've added another 1,500 rainbow trout. This is the third stocking that we've been able to do thus far this year. And overall, over the period of the summer, we'll probably put 15,000 trout into the, into the reservoir here. And that's in addition to other you know, brown trout and some other species that are already here. Rob Christensen of Salt Lake didn't waste any time testing the new water. I thought fishing would be good. <laughs> well, the fishing's great, huh? Yeah, the fishing's great. It's the catching that's really slow. But seconds later, Rob reels in a newly planted trout. Nice little rainbow. All right. It's about time. And the kids couldn't wait to help Rob celebrate his trophy. From the Division of Wildlife's perspective is, hey, we've got a lot more opportunity for you as anglers to be able to come up here and catch fish. And American Fort Canyon is probably one of the more heavily used canyons along the Wasatch Front. It's close to so many people. Um, me, personally, I've grown up here. This is where we played, camped, fished, and so it's been kind of fun to be able to come back and then provide new opportunities for the residents, whether they're anglers or just swimmers, people want to just come up and play in the canyon. The U.S. Department of Agriculture kicked in seven of the $10 million rehab bill. We have a great fishery here now. The fishery, it was getting shallow and so the water temperatures were starting to come up. Now it's a lot deeper. There's a lot more water and, and places for the fish to be in. And so it'll, it'll make this fishery a lot better. And the recreation opportunities are wonderful. There's a new dock, a new fishing pier. Um, just lots of amenities and a beach, this beautiful beach we're standing on. Tibble Fork is restricted to non-motorized boats and the new pier provides an easy method for launching canoes and kayaks. The new amenities include a sandy beachfront on the lake's north shore. Born and raised here, I've always come up here, but this just looked more fun with the sandy beaches and just better for the kids to be able to play, have something to do. Surprised to see a sandy beach up here in the mountains? <laughs> Very surprised, yes. <laughs> Taking advantage of it, it looks yeah. like. Yep. Tibble Fork is a popular base with access to hiking trails and Jeep and ATV routes. Roads also lead higher into the forest to Granite Flat and Silver Lake Reservoir. Well, it's a place they can get away and connect with the outdoors. They can come out here and, and fish and enjoy the area. They can hike and, and you know, I'd like to be able to say get away from people, but there's a lot of people here, but they can certainly really enjoy an outdoor experience. Restyne at your leisure at Tibble Fork Reservoir. Look south to adventure. Look south to beauty. Look south to San Juan County. Out here, the road goes on forever, and what you'll find will change how you see the world. Climb on your OHV and discover forgotten landscapes and vistas that challenge the imagination. From Blanding and Monticello to the cliff faces of Monument Valley, we're open and ready for you to explore. San Juan County, Utah's Canyon Country. It's inches off the ground. It's open air freedom. It's remarkably powerful. It's totally unique. It starts at 21199. It's slingshot. Pure driving fun. People come from all over the world to see and enjoy the beauty of our state and have for years. Today, there are those who would like to close these sites to access for environmental reasons. We believe the proper environmental approach to protecting and enjoying our resources and ensuring their continued beauty is through responsible management and usage, not closure. If you want to ensure your right to access and enjoy the sites, visit www.usaall.org and consider joining the fight today. This message is brought to you by the Utah Shared Access Alliance. Summertime, and now it's even better because summer is free at Ray City RV. That's right, purchase a trailer or motorhome from Ray City, pay nothing till October. Over $10,000 off, time to buy is now. Summer's free at Ray City RV. Run faster, pull harder, 
and leave everyone else behind. With an impressive 154 horsepower, combined with 113 foot-pounds of tire-spinning torque, the Maverick X3 absolutely rockets off the line, going from 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds. All thanks to a turbocharged, intercooled Rotax ACE engine. So get ready to wait for everyone else to catch up. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, somewhere up Log Canyon. And while you're welcome back here, you are not welcome here, okay? Teachable moment. When you see something like this or the one across the way, stop. Yeah, trail closed means trail, trail closed. closed. That's right. So there's always a reason that the Forest Service or the BLM or an agency will close a road. And sometimes it's because it's not on the travel plan. Sometimes it's because they have to give the area a rest. It needs to rehabilitate. There are too many ruts. They don't always stay closed forever. And we've seen that happen. Yeah. Now, you may disagree with the closure, but it's closed. So find another route. Right, absolutely. Right. Yeah, just so you can keep the rest of the trails open. That's true. Of course, <laughs> it's not like there are a lack of places to go here. Oh, this is just amazing. I mean, I'm looking right here. I probably see like six or seven right in front of me in all these areas. Probably the best idea is to go to the Forest Service office before you come up here to ride and get a travel map. They have them. They'll give them to you. Yeah. And, then, and then you might discover something you didn't see otherwise. You bet. Right now, it's time for a weekly contest winner, and Stephen Human says he has this winner in his phone. I don't know how they got him in there because it's kind of a small space. <laughs> hey, everybody, Steve Human here. I'm down on the Arizona border, and I have found an AWIL sticker right there. As you can see, let's check out the license plate number over here. It is 733 WTE, and check that out. It's a Ram with two Rams. That's pretty cool. Call us this week at 801 947 8888 because you are our winner. Now, here's Chad and Rhea with what your prize is. Lucky you, you're going to win a Camp Chef Denali portable stove. Congratulations. Make sure you call us at 801 947 8888 and get that prize. All right, now let's uh, discover what's happening on next week's show. Big things come in small packages next week as we find out how some of the best adventures in the West can be found in the littlest towns. First, Chad and Rhea take a magnificent horseback ride outside Blanding, Utah. Then join me, Stephen Human, as I discover incredible views in central Idaho, where the ATVing is a way of life. Well, we certainly had a lot of fun today. In fact, if there's one lesson we've learned from the last half hour, it's that there's so many things to do uh, and so many trails to discover around Nephi that you probably ought not to do it all in one day. Oh yeah, you gotta hang out here for a long while. So, there are plenty of places to stay. There are a lot of hotels or campgrounds down here. There are a lot of great places to eat. Yeah, it's a rural community with like really great creature comforts. It's, it's a great little town. So don't spend all your time on the road for a weekend getaway. Just come down here. Oh, the breeze is just beautiful here. Yeah. But we also wanna thank Garrett Honda for going out with us today. That was so much fun. They're right on Main Street. Yeah. If you need directions on how to find some of these places we were at today, pop in and talk to Jeff or any of the people there. They will help you out. Yeah, that's a great place. That's true. So is Jueb County. We love it down Oh, there. indeed. All right. Well, remember, as we proved again today, there's adventure around every bend. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. At, at your, your leisure. leisure. Okay. So dinner time, now what? Welcome to At Your Leisure. <laughs> Ow! If you want to check one of these out, get up to 80, 80, I messed it up. Now, Dead Horse Point State Park is really, am I recording?